All right, guys and girls, we're just going to be dropping right into this tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how to add audio to any avatar you might have and dance or whatever you might be doing if you just want to add music. And then next time I'll show you guys how to turn music on and off. But this is just showing you how to put the music on to an animation when you dance or something like that. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to need is an avatar. You're going to drag your avatar into your assets window here and you're going to need your VRC SDK and your plugins of course in order to do this. So you can sign in and upload to VRChat. So I've left the VRC SDK package that I made for people who are having issues with their VRC SDK. But if you also want to use the original one, you can do that as well. Once you have your VRC SDK and plugins folder loaded up, you want to take your avatar and put it into the left side hierarchy. Then you want to select it. Right click on it and then scroll down to audio and then select audio source. After you do this, you're finished with this step. Now you also need to add your audio into the assets area. If you haven't already done that, it'll be a good time to do it now. Take your audio and then drag it into the audio source. And now you've added audio to your avatar, but you're not finished because you want to look here to the right side. And then you want to click on this little check mark right here. And this little check mark will make it invisible. So uncheck that. And you're pretty much finished. You're done with that step. So now we're going to click on our avatar and we're going to create a VRC descriptor. So you're going to need this because this is how this kind of whole process works. And besides, you couldn't get into VR chat without this anyway. So but this is one of the main aspects to make make this work. So anyways, we're going to add a VRC descriptor. Once we do that, we're finished. We're going to need a custom override, though, first in order to add our audio into our VRC descriptor. So what we want to do is we're going to go to our VRC SDK, our examples, our sample as, and then we're going to go into our animations. Here we'll find our custom override controller. So we're going to click on it, as you see here, and then we're going to click control plus D. This is going to duplicate it. We're going to drag it over here to the left, then up, and then out into the assets area. And if you haven't created like a folder for your files, you can, but if not, you can just leave it here in the assets window. And that's fine, as long as you're able to access your custom override. So once you've done that, you're all set. If you would like to download an animation folder with the dance and emos folder containing within that folder, I've left links down in the description so you can do that, just in case you want to. Now. This is the part where you may want to add your animations. If you don't have any animations, then you can click right here in the right hand corner of the screen. And there is a tutorial video that will show you how to get animations onto your avatar. If you don't have any, click there, go back and get some, and then come back to this video. But for those of you who already do have animations, we can continue on from this point. So. Now we want to select our custom override and as you can see right here on the right side we can see that there is a huge list but right now we're only interested in the emo boxes so that's the only thing we're going to be focusing on right here today in this tutorial. So what we want to do is take our animation and drag it into one of the one through eight emotes in this box. So do that and you're all set. Now we want to select our avatar. We want to then drag our custom override into the custom override settings, which is the standing and sitting animations. These two boxes here slide the custom override into both of those and you're finished. Now the only thing left you need to do is now create a game object. Right click in the left hand side of the hierarchy and then select create empty. After you select the create empty, select the game object, right click it and then select audio and then create another audio source. 
we're now going to drag the audio file into the audio source as we did before. Now we're pretty much done. So click on your newly created audio source. Now we're going to add a VRC descriptor like we added one to our avatar. Add the VRC descriptor and then drag your custom override into the sitting and standing custom animations for the avatar. So you're pretty much finished now. So now what you want to do is you can close it up by clicking the arrow on the left side in the left side of the hierarchy here and you're going to close it up. Then you're going to select the game object and we're going to make it invisible by selecting this checkbox yet again right here. So we're pretty much finished. We're done. And now finally, last but not least, we want to now add our animation to our avatar to see what it looks like before we upload it into VR chat. So what we want to do is take our animation and drag it into our avatar as you can see right here in the left side in the hierarchy. Just drag it into your avatar, let it go, and you're all set. Hit the play button and if you hear music like you see here, then you've pretty much accomplished your task. upload it upload your avatar that you want to use and we just need to check it click on the animation that you added the music to and there we have it it should work just as you see it here and now you're dancing as smooth as eating a piece of cake that pretty much wraps things up for this tutorial I hope you guys have enjoyed it Make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed the video and also make sure to leave a like if you guys want to help support the channel and help me to bring you more tutorials and videos like these. Well, anyways, until next time, this has been K7. Take care guys. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.